Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? I would be using a bow in this game, but I really couldn't find a game I like that has bow and arrows. And I could create a red-headed character or a blue-haired one, so I just went with this. And I'll probably be fighting like this in the Princess Connect 2. But that being said, this week's episode was definitely interesting with giant man rusting monster robot. I don't know if it's really sentient. I'm guessing it's not supposed to be sentient, but somehow the dude has combined himself with the robot. Right? <laughs> like, I'm not entirely sure, like, what's going on, because clearly it's him, the bad guy, because he's angry at the mushroom guy. And if that is the case, it just tells me that there's probably some connection between him and the robot to the point where um, he was already capable of taking over people's minds. So why would it be far-fetched that he could um, he could somehow transfer his mind into something, right? Um, not to mention this big robot had been sitting in the rest the whole time. So I am curious to see if that's what they're going with. Oh, excuse me. Let's see if that's what they're doing. But at the end of the day, this show definitely is still hurting from the loss of its main character, and this didn't really do much for me. Seeing all these arrow shots, seeing all of it fail, ultimately at the end of the day, did nothing for me. <laughs> um, I really do think that this show has a lot of potential before the main dude in the title dies, or at least as we know right now is dead. If there's any way to bring him back, I really hope it's not like a part of this robot or something where he's going to be the one to hold it back from doing something it's going to regret doing or whatever. I don't know. I feel like they both died almost the same way, but the other dude died fully from the rust while he was shot by the arrow to probably uh, make it so maybe he, he won't fuse with the rest and the robot i don't know man it's getting super strange at this point uh we need dr strange to handle this situation but with the massive power this robot has and that it's showcasing it's getting pretty scary to think that anyone who is out there is just going to get caught and practically rust to death now because of this ridiculously big robot but we have a pretty good idea that that's not going to happen just because of how much effort is being put in to protect everybody. We'll see if they can even take care of what's coming next. So I honestly hope everybody is doing good. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Did you drop this whole series after the main character died? I was talking to some people in the chat and they definitely... <laughs> were angry and hurt just as much as I was, so it's nice to have those people that, you know, you can kind of meet eye to eye with on these types of things, so let me know if that's you as well, because this was a tough pill to swallow, I'm not gonna lie, all the way to the point where now we have the blue-haired guy pretty much throwing his life on the line every single shot he could die, and they'll just lose a doctor but if he doesn't protect all these people there's no patience for him to actually heal so there's that as well overall though i hope you all are having an awesome day night evening whatever the case may be i am your boy the anime g and i will definitely talk to y'all sooner than later and let me know like i said did you enjoy this episode do you miss our old character and are you angry that he is gone, if he is truly gone? Take care. And peace.